Good morning, YouTube. Ms. Mob, bringing you a little sauce this morning. Good morning, everybody. Listen here. Your girl Mia stayed up last night, honey. Watch me a little Tebow. Honey, there was so much stuff going on, I didn't know what to do. I got about two other three reviews I got to do before the day is out. But check it out. We're going to start off with this one. Um, this one here is, uh, I was watching my girl. Now, I love this lady. I love this lady like I don't love nobody else, honey. Reminds me of, of, of some good old southern soul. And that was your girl, Shirley Caesar. She was on Unsung last night, and they was telling her story. Let me tell you something. When, you, when I think about Shirley Caesar, I think about a lady who's so small, but carries a big stick, baby. Big stick. Honey, it just told you a lot about her life, a lot of things that we didn't know. Because I know it was a lot I didn't know. And I was, I, was, I was tuned in, honey. I was tuned in. But let me tell you something. For five decades, this lady has graced the stages around the world, spreading the word about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And just pastoring to everybody. She's won uh, 11 Grammys. She has 40 albums. Let me tell you something. This lady loved to stay in the church. You know what I'm saying? She was explaining her childhood that when, um, just, you know, I'm just going to give a brief summary of what the show was about. She was explaining her childhood and it was just saying that, um, she was mischievous. She stayed in a lot. She stayed in getting this stuff. And that's, that's a typical child. You know, they stay busy. They, they always into something. Listen, she stayed in the stuff. She just could not stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Now, I wasn't that child. Mia was a good child, but this is about Shirley. Now, listen. Shirley said she had them food around and picked up a rock and, and threw threw uh threw a rock at a light. You know, said she used to do it all the time, bust the lights out and stuff in the neighborhood. Now she's originally from Durham, North Carolina, so she threw a, um a light, threw a rock at a light and bust out the light. And I think she was saying that her mother was, I want to say her mother was slightly handicapped. So, you know what I'm saying? It was 11 of them. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't think her mother could, you know what I'm saying, really control them the way the daddy could. But the daddy was a pastor. But listen, honey, when she got home, when the daddy got home and she told her, and they found out what Shirley had done done. The daddy put a little smack down on Shirley. You know what I'm saying? She said her little, her little legs was dangling. Her arms was dangling. So he tore her little butt up for busting out that light. He tore her up. Well, well the sad part about that story was um, she was seven years old when that happened. And she said later on that night, after she had got a spanking, that um, he, um, the ambulance and stuff was called, that he had had a stroke and died. Now, you know what I'm saying? She said for years... Now, you know that because I, I think that would have traumatized us all. For years, she blamed herself for her daughter, her daddy's death. And you know what I'm saying? I know that had to affect her sometime because it touched me, you know, when she told the story. You know, she was just thinking she was getting a typical whip, but she didn't expect to lose her father. And she lost her father at a very young age. She lost her father when he was seven. Now, they kind of left her mother in a uh, terrible situation because her mother wasn't in a position to take care of the family due to her health. So... Shirley, you know, they was faithful believers in the church and Shirley, them, you know, they, they, Hey, they was there all the time, all the time, every day, every day, but like we used to be back in the day, all day in the church. And so what Shirley did was took advantage of that. And she started singing and, you know, people started to come and see, her. I think they said a DJ came down to see her. He had got wind of her. He came down to see her sing in the church. And from there it took off. Her career took off. So every dime she said she used to they used to take up a collection plate for her in the church. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew that situation. So she said, every dime, every coin I collected from singing, I gave it to my mom to help my mom pay bills. Now, you know what I'm saying? That's dedication now, baby. That's dedication. Let me tell you something. Shirley touched me with this episode of Unsung. You know what I'm saying? She was just saying how she's a pastor and it always, you know what I'm saying? She says it's never been easy for a woman pastor out here. It's never been easy. And it never will be easy. She made it clear it never will be easy. But she said that that wasn't going to stop her. She said, hey, he built me where I'm not going to stop. See, that's how you got to look at life. I'm not going to stop. I, I, I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Whatever your dream and mission is, I'm here. And I ain't going no way. And, and you got to be just like her, determined. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. I don't care what people say. I'm not going to stop. So listen, she, um, she says she always, and I, you know, this is something that we all should live by. I'm going to read what she said. She said, she always said this to herself. And, and I said, you know what? I say little stuff and I got my little memos. Y'all know that anybody who's been following me for a long time know me. I got a little memos and I got my little, you know, stickies and stuff like that everywhere. But honey, I'm going to stick this on my desk as soon as I get there. Because it, it says, Lord, 
Just crack the door for me. Just crack the door. Just give me a little crack. Just crack that door for me. And I'll kick it down. And that's the same motto I, I'm going to live by. Just, just, just give me a little crack. Just let me in. Just let me in just a little bit. And I'll kick it down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it down. You can't stop. You can't stop. And when I heard her say that last night, you know, in her, in, you know, in the commentary, I said, oh, just did something to me. You just feel something. Because that's a little powerful woman. Powerful woman. Now, she sung in bands and stuff like that. She was with a band called the Caravans. And you know what I'm saying? And they they um they sold all kind of records and stuff like that. But the people wanted Shirley. Um, producers and stuff like that wanted Shirley. They didn't want the group. They wanted Shirley. So the first, you know, when they came to her first and propositioned her, and said, you know, we want you to lead the group. We just want you. We don't want them. She was with the group, Caravans. And Shirley said, no, I'm not going to leave them. She stayed with them for three years. And they came back to her again. They said, Shirley, we want you. We want you to sing solo. We just want you, though. We don't want the group. And this time, she took it, baby. She took it. But I have to give her props because she stayed with them for three years to keep them. Because I'm saying something. The lady can blow. The lady can blow. She sing the she sing gospel the way I want to hear. I don't know what y'all want to hear, but she sing it the way I want to hear. That's the gospel I grew up on. That's how I want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? She just she just she just brings it to you, baby. By the time she get through singing to you, you 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 understand. You be a changed woman. You be a changed woman. Let me tell you something. So she left, and when she left, she started a group called the Caesar Singers in 1970. And honey, her career took off. Took off. Okay? Took off. So Shirley did what was best for her. But I want to thank Shirley for giving us that little clip or sharing her story with the world of how hard it's been. Then she, she also said that, you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, the new age came about. She she told the truth now. This lady told the truth. Y'all got to look at it. If y'all didn't see it, it was on Unsung. She told the truth. She was saying how the gospel, how how the gospel music just slowed down in the uh, late 1990s. It just, so, it just slowed down. It wasn't selling the way it was selling in the beginning. It wasn't selling. You know what I'm saying? People wasn't buying their music. Not just for her. You know, she she named other groups. The Winings. She named a lot of other groups. A lot of uh, gospel other groups that the people just wasn't buying music. She said, because they realized... That, you know what I'm saying? It was something else. It was a new generation coming in. And the new generation was bringing like more modern, more modern gospel music, more, more hippity hoppity a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, she, and Shirley said, oh, I just couldn't get down with it. You know what I'm saying? She said, I wasn't ready to change. So I went on ahead and left, you know what I'm saying? The label that I was signed with, you know what I'm saying? But what she did was she realized one thing. Well, looks like this is what the new kids want, baby. Let's give them what they want. She made a rap gospel song with a young guy. And I forgot his name. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But it, it was a pretty good song. And then, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know. Next thing you know. Hey. Hey. Chris Brown and a couple of these big singers, Beyonce and all of them. They took a whole 20-year-old sermon song. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I ain't going to sing it because I don't want to get copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? And like she said, she was in the Caribbean somewhere on the water. You know what I'm saying? They took they took that 20-year-old sermon song, that old gospel song. And they said, you got to dance to it. And honey, they said it went viral. It went viral. That song went viral. It went viral. And she said she was over there in Caribbean, you know, on the water. She said, honey, they were calling me. And I was on the water, honey, in a, you know, in another country or somewhere else. She said, honey, I didn't know what the word viral meant till I saw it. She said, Lord, we own to something. She realized at the end, we have to change. We have to change. We have to change. We have to go with the flow. We have, you know what I'm saying? At first, she didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't get it. Because you got to remember, Charlotte said is 80. 80, maybe 80 plus now. You know what I'm saying? So she realized, and, you know, we have to realize we have to change. We have to go with, you know, you know what I'm saying? What's selling. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to change you. You just got to tweak it a little bit. You don't have to change you. She's still the same person. You know, she didn't change her. We still respect her. Charlotte is a small lady with a big stick, honey. I got much respect for that lady. Much respect. I pay, her see, pay to see her anyway in concert. I pay to see her. Yeah? I will pay to see her. And this one particular song, I'm trying to see y'all, bear with me. She, um, this one particular song she made, and I was looking for it. I wrote my notes down. 
um, she dedicated to her mother. And I can't remember. I wrote it down. I, I don't see it on here. She don't. She don't. She don't. She, she don't receive so many accolades, the Walk of Fame. She's just. She's just somebody you can look up to. You know what I'm saying? She got married to a, a, her husband. He died. She was married to him for years. His name was Bishop Williams. Six months after meeting, they got married. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she, she said she had so many proposals. She said people were always asking her, would you marry me? Would you marry me? And she said, she's like, no, I won't marry you. No, I won't marry you. She said, but when, 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 Bishop, when Bishop Harold Williams called her after meeting, and he said, would you marry me? Eh? Shorty said, he said, oh, he moved quick, don't he? He don't waste no time, do he? You know, Shorty, I was cool. Shorty said, he moved quick, don't he? He don't waste no time. He won't get married right now. Well, I guess I would. She, she took him up on that offer, and she married him. But he died uh, after a couple of years. She said, I, I miss him. That's my best friend. You know, you got something when you when you marry somebody. And you. she said, that was my best friend. She she did like this. She said, we were like this. That's who you want to that's who, that's who share happiness with. Somebody that y'all like this. She said, I mean, we were like this. She said, I miss him. I miss that man. She said, but I enjoyed everything we shared. Everything we shared. She said, because that was my best friend. Now, that, now, now, that's what you want. That's what we want. We, 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 we want. That was the type of relationships you want. You want to say, that's my best friend. That's my best. That's my ride or die. That's what you want. That's what you want. So that's the type of relationship we're looking for. That's the type of relationship anybody's looking for. Wait, I don't care who you are. We're not, we're not judging nobody. We accept the people for who they are and what they are. But that's the type of relationship we want. That type right now. Where you can just twist your finger and say, no matter what, I know he got me. And I got him. And we are like this. And you and nobody else ain't going to be able to tear that shit apart. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mean to curse. Because this is one video I didn't want to curse on. Dealing with Shirley. But I want to say I respect you, Shirley Caesar. I love you, honey. I love you. And I appreciate you for sharing your life story with us. You know what I'm saying? Her mother died. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, but she 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 made a movie. She dedicated that movie to her mama. One of her sisters played the mother. I I, I just love Shirley. I just love her. I think she's an inspiration to all women. All women. All women. Across the world. All women. And she just lets you know. She said, if he, oh, she said at the end when she when she got through with the documentary, she said, you know what? If the Lord did it for me, she said, he'll do it for you. That's what you want. You want to share it. You want, you want other people to be successful just like you. And I, that's what I, I want people to be successful. I, I wish that on everybody. I want you to be success, successful in a good way. I want people to wish success upon me too. So please leave me a like. Subscribe, share, comment. Leave me something. Let me know. I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but I just thought it was very inspirational. I thought it was just something I didn't want to miss. And I was trying to watch that and another show. I'm going to do a comment, commentary, a documentary on that later on today. I just, but I was just so, you know what I'm saying? She moves me. Y'all just don't know. Charlotte Caesar moves me. I buy her music. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I see her on a award show or something like that, I just go crazy. It just, she just do something to me. I always have like that lady. I always have like that lady. Always have. Her voice. There's something about her voice that moves me. That moves me. Puts me in the spirit immediately. Puts me in the spirit. I love her. I love her. So I just wanted to share that with y'all this morning. Y'all leave me your thoughts on what you feel. Please share a like, comment. Do what you feel this morning. I hope everybody woke up in great spirits. I know I did, honey. And remember what Shirley said. Remember, we all should remember what Shirley said. Lord, just crack the door. Crack the door. And I kick it down. Just crack the door for me. Just let me in. Just let me get a little. Just, just let me in just a little bit. And I'm going to kick it down. Because ain't no bears or nothing going to stop me. Ain't nothing going to stop me. And I and I got that same attitude, that go get them attitude. Go get them, Mia. Go get them. Is it going to be easy getting out? I don't want it to be easy. Because I'm going to do just like Shirley said. It ain't got to be easy. Just let me in. Just, just crack that door a little bit. Because I'm going to kick it right down. Down. Here she come. Full force. Y'all have a good day and take it easy. It's your girl Mia coming at you live. Hope I wasn't too loud this morning. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted, I wanted y'all to feel what I was saying. Because when she, you know, I just felt Shirley. And I wanted y'all to feel Mia. Feel me. If y'all didn't see it, go back and see it. It's on Unsung. She came on last night. 
I don't know why she was on on song. You know what I'm saying? Because she, she's great. You know, she's great. You know what I'm saying? People tried to uh, uh, come at her. Shirley, Shirley, that little lady let that stop her. Huh? And Shirley came up, up through there. You know what I'm saying? Shirley came up through there, baby. And let everybody know, I'm here and I'm here to stay. And she's still here right today. Y'all take it easy. Have a good day. I'm going to be just like Shirley.